Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and today we're going to go back to Warhammer 2 with all this Warhammer 3 madness. As, finally, actually a few weeks ago, but it's completely missed my radar, there was an update to the Nagash mod. It looks like it's getting closer and closer to release and there are a few details that we can talk about and a really cool new mechanic. So let's not waste any more time and jump right in, because, well, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys want to hear about it and I want to talk about it too. So first up, we have a public comment, well, a response from Belisarian Fire Dragon, one of the many modders who are taking part in the fleshing out of Nagash. You may have seen Belisarian's mods and the other stuff he's worked on in the past, as I featured him on the channel before. He is a very talented modder who works on spell effects and so on. He's the one who created the summonable fortress and so on. So this is in response to when the mod will be released. And unfortunately they have no idea, but they are around 70 to 80% complete so far. Keep in mind that this was two weeks ago. And there is a chance that they will release it before Warhammer 3. However, they are able to plan to port and update the mod and move it to Warhammer 3 should it not be a problem. And in those cases, from what I've seen when it comes to Warhammer 1 to Warhammer 2 modding, it wasn't too difficult to just port over mods. So it is assumed, keep in mind, assumed is a big thing here, that it will remain the same. But with that out of the way, they are showcasing in this video the mechanic that will accompany the Black Pyramid, which is assumably going to follow Nagash around. It's going to work very similar to, funny enough, mechanics that we've seen in Warhammer 3. So let's just talk about them as they're pretty cool. So what we've seen here is Endless Tomb. It spawns a bit of terrain which Belisarian is known for and that continuously spawns skeletons until it's destroyed. This is pretty exciting as that I guess means that the tomb is going to stay there like literally until it's destroyed so it will stay all match unless broken, which I think is going to be quite cool. Obviously, we'll need some clarification from the mod devs themselves. I don't know exactly how fast this is going to keep spawning skeletons and so on, but it still looks pretty cool. It's very visually impressive, that's for sure. And yeah, man, I mean, that's super hype. <laughs> That was Batpocalypse, a map-wide debuff. They didn't show any stats, or at least I didn't see any stats. And yeah, that looks amazing. I know what a lot of you were thinking now, because yeah, my FPS. But apparently the modder himself says that he's been able to use this and it's not done any damage to FPS. I'm assuming it's because it's bats and it's not like full lights. Whereas bats are more like black pixels moving around. Because as we're aware, when like the Tomb Kings get their faction-wide buff in the middle of a battle, that can be a bit on the FPS drops, but I don't know it. I don't see any other race or faction having similar mechanics. We'll take his word for it, because at the end of the day he is the developer, and we can see eventually when this mod gets released. But still, it looks impressive. Well, yeah, I mean, you cover the whole map with bats. I mean, who isn't impressed by that? The cat 
And finally, Wrath of the Gods, where the Black Pyramid itself bombards your enemies, which I think is pretty cool. It looks like you'll be able to do a lot of heavy damage, especially to anything clumped up. I love the look of it, I think it's awesome. And yeah, I mean, this looks rather impressive. But that's pretty much everything in terms of information. When anything else is heard, I will let you know. I'll link you the original video in the description below, so please check out the video, leave them a nice comment of support and so on, because I'm pretty sure they always appreciate that type of thing. And you know, these modders are working really hard. I mean, you can already see how much work has gone through the Nagash mod with all the update videos I've done. My only hope is it won't be too long until we get to play with it, because it looks really cool and, you yeah, I mean, cool factor is a big thing here. But until then, guys, I hope you guys are having a lovely day, and I shall see you all again very soon.